hey guys welcome back to Xamarin guys so in this tutorial we are going to make circular progress bar and level that will decrement that is decrement counter inside our Xamarin forms application so basically progress ring plugin will give you progress ring only then we will add decrement counter in the middle of progress ring so this pro plugin that is Xamarin forms progress ring will give us the progress ring as it is inside the plugin itself so we have to add it inside our shared android and ios project and call this lineup code inside our ios platform specific configuration so that's all for ios and there is nothing that needs to be configured on the android side so i'll minimize it then let's go to our app.jaml.cs so we have our basic application running which is telling that main page is going to be loaded whenever application is going to start so you can see over here I have a basic grid so very simple line of code that is progress ring so this is the full line of code that is calling whole progress ring and then I am adding the label you can see over here the decrement label counter in the middle of that progress ring so it is optimized to now how does this progress ring gets its value from I'm calling this progress value inside my .cs of main page. You can just call all the code inside your main page view model too. There is no issues, but you have to concentrate on that. All the properties changes as the timer changes. So this is the time that will start. But the binding context should be this so that we can bind all the property change inside our main page.xaml. Now we can see over here whenever the timer starts, then this progress value is going to be increment so the timer won't stop till it gets its final condition that is progress value equals minimum and then only it will return false or else it will return true now whenever this progress value is achieved by this progress then it is going to convert so how does it really convert so if this is the converter that is going to give this is the converter where i have placed that is inside my local circular project app so you can use some folders also and then add those classes inside those folder now whenever this value is sent to the converter then what is happened so you can see over here the progress value is binded to the dot cs of main page so that will get the label that is upgraded now if you want 30 second then the value should be written as value divided by 30 so if you want 60 second you can see over here let me change it to the 60 second then the timer is going to be started from the 60 second you can just play around with it so 60 second over here then inside our main page.xaml.cs we should tell that our maximum progress value is 60 so that the timer is going to be started so maximum and the progress value should be 60 and the minimum is 0 so that the timer will start from 60th second or else you can just play around with it like 45 seconds 30 seconds and the value progress bar converter should also have those value that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials